Hello everyone, it's uh, Rad. Uh, welcome to my channel Radku Tarot and uh, this is going to be a disclaimer that needs to stand in front of every video I do. So if you this is the first time you are here, welcome. If not, and should you wish to proceed, well, you can fast forward into the reading that it is ahead of this disclaimer. But as a disclaimer, I need to advise you that this is a, a general reading. Um, of the representative star sign and for that reason because tarot is very personal divination tool and does require narrative which in personal readings appear to be your question or the situation that you are describing uh, the read the general reading may or may not resonate entirely with uh, with your situation and if it resonates that great if it doesn't i do apologize for that but sh i'm yeah, and I wish you the best, you know, with some, with the situation that you're trying to cope with. But um, if you wish to proceed with the um, personal readings or uh, you wish to follow me on Facebook or on YouTube, you know, all, all of that or visit my website, all of that is going to be written in the description the box down below. And uh, thank you for watching in advance and uh, now lay back and uh, enjoy the video. All right, so this is going to be Capricorn Sun, Capricorn Moon, and Capricorn Rising. Weekly tarot reading, November 25th to December 1st, 2019. And uh, bear with me just a couple of seconds, guys, to shuffle the tarot cards. And uh, we are going to jump right into it. Alright, so the first card that stands uh, for the topic of your week, we do have the Fool card, followed by the next one, which represents the challenges that you need to overcome here, that is going to be the Page of Wands. Afterwards, it is uh, the uh, positive aspect of the week for you, that is going to be the Empress, and the last one here, which stands for the Guidance that Tsaro is offering, that is going to be the Page of Pentacles, very interesting reading, um, very, very interesting one. So we're definitely talking about a some kind of a beginning here, obviously with the full card, all right? But uh, I do believe that it's not going to be as rapid as you may want it to be. But before we go into that, um, yeah, let's focus first on the uh, topic of the week. So it's going to be the, yeah, it's a new beginning, guys. It's definitely with the judgment. So it's definitely the beginning you require, the beginning you need. It is a refreshing one. It is like, how can I say it? Revival, all right? It's definitely, it is a revival here that we do have on our hands. It could be new love that you have craved for, all right? It could be a new job that you have craved for, uh, that you have craved, cra craved for, but it is new and it gives freedom. That's the best thing it gives. It kind of like liberates you from all the worries and anxieties that you do have up until this, this moment. It basically gives you the way out. It's, that's the best way, how can I describe it? It gives you the way out. Right now, you wonder what you have to do, all right? You kind of like uh, have been apprehensive or should you go with it or should you stay, you know? Or should you find yourself another job or stay in this one? Well, Whatever happens in this week is going to give you the solution. And that solution, once again, it liberates you from everything. And on top of it, it allows you to proceed forward with a generic idea of yours. And under, under generic idea, I mean an idea to be happy, an idea to be lucrative, right? Also, is going to transcend your life in muse. So you're going to be quite happy, okay? You're going to be quite enthralled, thrilled with how things are uh, unfolding. It is a fantastic week where you can build up friendships. Perfect, right? The right people are gonna jump into, uh, into your life. And from those people, you know, who knows? Um, many things can, can happen. Uh, it could be, you know, one of them could be your um, next tutor, romantic partner, business partner, and etc., etc. But the whole point here with those two cards is that you should not approach um, those kind of new interactions and new endeavors as well that are too uh, open for you throughout this week with a burdens that you do carry from the past. So it will require closure first and foremost. And also you need to approach them with lightheartedness. 
if that makes sense. Uh, so light hardness, what I mean here, it is that you should not um, focus right now on uh, the, the problems that you may face along the way, but focus only upon what the end goal would, have, uh, would serve you once you reach it. So what is going to be the challenge? We do have a specific person here, Page of Wands, and it is accompanied with a D4 of Cups. So that is a person who um, wants to present themselves a bit different um, into you. That is a person who does not understand why you want to move on, okay? And uh, it's, uh, it's, it's basically a, a person who will try to uh, approach you with seemingly um, new enterprises, right? Or in other words, it could be one that present that approaches you with the words "I have changed," you know, or with the uh, try to do the impression that they have changed. But because these are a uh, active enemies here, okay, it doesn't look like it. I mean, that's uh, uh, that's a one who kind of like does not have an, an emotion, never had an emotions, okay? Um, or it never had any expectations, not emotions, expectations, it is what I would say. And uh, because the Four of Cups, it is um, enemy to the Page of Wands, although they want um, something new with you, it could be business, you know, it could be a relationship, they do not want it to be mutual in the sense of that they want it to happen based on their turf based on their rules based on their regulations if you will so what is the challenge really here it is to just let this one go that's that's all that you need to do and it will be pretty easy because the life itself gives you the um the solution to not being able to let go of it you know that could be friend it could be co-worker but any any person really it could be a sibling as well so the other card it regards to the positive aspect of this week and that is going to be the uh empress card accompanied with the uh eight of cups so that is pretty significant what we do have in these two cards first of all they are a passive friends and what those cards are pointing is that you have learned your lesson that is the first thing that these cards are telling at least to me then it kind of like this lesson improves your maturity and uh, it doesn't look like that you are going to rush it like i said this uh, new beginning is not going to happen ra happen rapidly it's not going to happen over one night and you are going to make the most out of the time while you're waiting that new beginning to develop by um i can't say really secluding yourself but more like detaching yourself from the past from the poignancy of the past it is what these two cards are saying okay extracting the valuable lessons from the past and deliberating upon how you can traverse this uh poignant experience into a um, a fuel for yourself to seek a better and more happier perspectives a uh, perspective and that will happen through a well-found decision so your calmness your serenity is going to allow you to decide for yourself a, a very how can i say it you know a, a very in a very accurate way this week, which will uh, additionally to that allow you to reap certain benefits. But these benefits are going to come further into the future uh, as this uh, new beginning develop on its own accord. But for now, just enjoy yourself. It's all that you have to do throughout the week. Do things that you do like, guys. Give expression to one and ideas that you had in your mind and up until this moment, you had no chance to do it for one or a, another reason. And uh, the last card here points to the uh, guidance that Taro is offering. We do have the Page of Pentacles and it is accompanied with the Five of Swords. So we do have a passive enemies. And it's a pretty big one, do not hold grudge. I mean, probably many of you based on the things that happened recently, maybe you are putting on a brave face, you know, and um, you are trying to show that you don't care, but within yourself, you may be a quadrant of rage, right? And that should not be the approach that you need to give here um, 
toward a person or toward their situation. Just give your resignation to it. Give your ignorance to it. Because otherwise, you are just feeding it a, um, a, a magic circle. Instead, what you can do, it is to put on a, a new devotion. That is what those cards are pointing. A new devotion that, um, how can I say it? That it is going to fulfill you emotionally. So something that you like to do, something that you like to achieve here. Okay? And um, you got to put all of... Uh, well, I don't know if this is going to make sense, but you got to put all of the youthfulness that your spirit has into it. So it's kind of like you got to be playful, you know, again, detached and, and carefree and so on and so forth. And uh, guidance wise as well, you have to be a bit careful which the positive aspect is going to play a major role here. Because uh, the guidance points that you need to invest into it at portions, all right? So certain stages will have certain requirements. And you need to invest just as much as the requirements want from you. Nothing less, nothing more. And as we talked into the positive aspect, it is that you will kind of like have that improved maturity. And uh, you will be able to make better decisions for yourself. Then that will help you a, a lot with deciding the portions of the time that you are going to invest, of the money that you are going to invest, of the um, emotions that you are going to invest. On a final note, uh, there is a, a very slim chance that we can talk about reconciliation here. But if this is the case, then uh, this, uh, this reconciliation, I cannot even classify it as a reconciliation because the relationship needs to happen on a, a brand new terms, right? It's like you have just met each other, right? It's like you have never knew each other and ju you just met each other. And from there, you work it out. So you shouldn't carry on any burdens from the past that you had together, which is very, very difficult. And uh, that's why I'm saying that it is a slim chance here because that is never the case, at least not within my experience. Um, I mean, not being able to carry on burdens from the past relationships, a relationship that you both had. So that being said, uh, Capricorn, this was your weekly tarot reading, November 25th to December 1st, 2019. Hope you enjoyed it and you liked it, guys, and we're going to see each other next time. Until then, bye.